Ladies and gentlemen, I have something to confess. I got the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. Now, you might think this is a tablet, because it sure does look like it from the outside. And it's a Samsung, so nobody would logically think Samsung would make laptops, right? Well, you're wrong, and I'm sorry to tell you it. This is the Samsung Galaxy Book Go. It's a brand new laptop that Samsung just released last year. It's pretty lightweight, has a bunch of cool features, so let's go check it out. So I was scrolling through the Best Buy website and I saw this gem. It's a Samsung, it was 315 with tax, so I was like, ah, why not get it, test it out, make a video on it. And I was pleasantly surprised at first. But the more you get into using something, the more flaws you find inside of it. So let's start off with the good things about this laptop. It is very lightweight and thin. As you guys can see, I can hold it from one hand, throw it to the other. It's lightweight. Don't try that at home though. And the nice finish, it's all in plastic. It feels good. It is obviously not as durable. It does bend here and there. Now, the one thing that really disappoints me is the fact that you can't open it with one finger. There's this little notch right in here. There's this little notch that you can just pop your finger in and supposedly you're supposed to lift it. But when you do, see, it's not getting up there. You gotta put one finger down to bring it up. And even with one finger, it tends to move at times. So let's say I do that. See, it just moved. So you really gotta have like a good grip in there. Press it down and open it up. Now, what's really cool about this laptop is that it instantly powers on. So once you open it, powered on. Now, the reason why it works like this, kind of just like a smartphone, is because it's powered by the new Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 platform. So it's perfect. It is one of the Snapdragon chips that you can find in certain smartphones. So it tends to be slow at times, especially that it's an AMD based Windows 11 laptop. So Windows on AMD, you don't want to think about it, but it still does the job. It features Windows 11. It comes with Windows 11 pre-installed, which is pretty nice. So this instant on performance is something that lots of people are going to enjoy. They're just going to want to grab it off their backpack and take it wherever they need at a coffee shop. Just open it up and start working. Now, let me get to the obvious. You don't want to be gaming on this device. Don't game. It's as simple as that. Like, if I could throw this laptop away for gaming, I would. This is not something you want to game with. You're going to be lagging, especially if you're like doing live streams or you're trying to count points and all of that. You are going to mess up your gameplay solidly. It's as simple as that. Now, as for video editing, it can take some light video editing. ClipChap is a brand new video editing software that Windows recently partnered with. And I did some nice runs with ClipChamp. It did the job. But start editing in 4K or even 2K for that matter and throw it away. So let's now talk about screen size. The Samsung Galaxy Book Go features a 14 inch screen and it is very compact. It does the job and it does have a decent refresh rate. It does feel laggy here and there once you're moving the mouse. Not laggy like performance wise, just laggy by moving the mouse. You could see the frames a little bit, but that's if you're like a tech geek and you really look into every small detail about a device. But if you're just using it for like studying or just watching YouTube videos or movies, I do totally recommend it. The screen is pretty good. I did watch some 4K videos on here and I was pretty surprised because I have an i5 laptop right here sixth generation so it is an old generation but eight gigabytes of ram and it can't take 4k video but this little thing on wi-fi in my basement can take 4k video which is pretty impressive now something that i'm very impressed with with this laptop is the battery the battery is outstanding it features a 18 hour battery life and it's amazing i got this laptop about two weeks ago 
I haven't used it religiously every day, but I only needed to charge it once, full charge, and the other time it was like at 20%, and it went up to 50%, and that's all the charge I've needed for like video conferencing for about four hours, for watching 30 minute YouTube videos on here, and the battery is now in battery saving mode, and it's still working very well. So this 18 hour battery life that Samsung offers is more than enough to get you through a day, maybe even two if you're a light user, get your studying social work done. So props to Samsung for an amazing battery. Now let's talk design and ports. So on the left side of the laptop, there is a USB-C charging port, a 3.5 millimeter earphone jack, as well as a SD card reader, micro SD card. And then over here, there's this little security lock pin thingy-majig, USB port, as well as another USB-C port. So this is something that's really nice. Samsung is really smart for doing this. You could charge your computer, your laptop on both sides. So let's say you're like maybe sitting on a plane by the window seat and your plug is like right there. You could just plug in your USB-C just like that. Now let's say you're in the aisle seat of, of a plane, for example, and your plug is like right there and you don't want to like bring the wire all around the computer and bother your middle seat neighbor because they can get sometimes rude. You could just plug it in on the USB-C port right here on the right side. So Samsung, props to you for thinking about our two USB-C ports on both sides. Very nice feature. Now, another thing I like about this laptop is the fact that you can bring it all the way down. How beautiful. Now let's say you're, I don't know, a real estate agent and you're helping your client buy a brand new house and you're like, oh, sir, here's your mortgage payments. This is how much you're gonna be paying and all that. Obviously you won't look over because the screen allows you to see from this angle. Now you're thinking, Alex, the screen is facing you. It's not facing your client in front. Well, don't think too fast. Simply click, click function, F11, and see that? It switches the screen, just like so. Perfect. Now let's say you wanna bring back the screen back to you. Function, F11, brings back the screen to you. So that's a very nice, convenient feature. I don't wanna call it a two-in-one because it is not a two-in-one, don't get too excited. It's just a very flexible, sturdy-ish laptop that allows you to do lots on the go and has some good hardware in it. Now, your connection features. This features Wi-Fi 5, so it is pretty good Wi-Fi, as well as Bluetooth. So it can get you your wireless earbuds in, your speakers, and as well, good Wi-Fi connectivity, which is always important. Now, this being a Samsung laptop, obviously, you're kind of stuck in the Samsung ecosystem. Now, like we've talked about in previous videos, Apple, you get a MacBook, you gotta get an iPhone. You get an iPad, you gotta get AirPods. You get an Apple TV, you gotta get an Apple Watch. So obviously you can use other third-party accessories, but Apple and honestly every company makes it very difficult, especially Apple, no shades, Apple, no shades, Apple, I love you, I love you. But I'm just saying, like, sometimes companies try to keep you in their ecosystem. They don't want you going rambling at other companies and getting their products because they want to make the biggest profit. And I'm just saying it like it is because it is true. And Samsung is the same thing. I love you, Samsung. I'm just saying the facts. Samsung Galaxy ecosystem is a very great ecosystem. You can use features like quick share, you can do easy Bluetooth connection, so you can hop on from your wireless earbuds from your phone onto your laptop. You can easily transfer pictures, files from your laptop onto your Samsung phone, which is very nice. And you can also do a bunch of other things like using your phone as a second screen to your laptop or using the SmartThings ecosystem. So that is all great features if you're a Samsung type of person. So this laptop has a bunch of great features. We discuss hardware, we discuss visually how it looks, we discussed about the ports. So obviously, as I mentioned, it's not the easiest to just open it up and nor is the grip. Let's say I'm typing 
you can see it's it's kind of like moving it's not solid because these grip things on the bottom of the laptop itself they're not the best they don't provide the best grip so they are slipping here and there and opening up is kind of difficult but other than that so far so good as i said don't game don't do crazy video editing because you will encounter difficulties that's for sure and i've experienced it now let's talk about web browsing you can easily hop into microsoft edge google chrome what's your favorite web browser comment down below and web browsing works perfect emailing works perfect obviously it's not going to be like if you have a one terabyte ssd 16 gigabyte ram i9 10th generation computer it won't work like that it'll work kind of like a smartphone emailing good browsing good right now let's talk about the speakers on this computer so let's just hop onto youtube we're gonna look for some no copyright music and let's test out these speakers they're not the best speakers they're loud they're pretty good, but let's say you're in a big crowd and you're trying to share something small on this laptop. These are blasted. My microphone is right there. And it's not picking up the craziest sound. It's still pretty good and I am still fairly far away. So it, it does do the job. It does work. They're just not the best speakers, but they sound pretty good. Let's continue. So as you guys can see, when I brought up the laptop close to the mic, you can hear a little bass. You can hear a little bass, you can hear the treble, it's pretty good. But the quality is kind of like muffled. Because if you look right in here, the speakers are lined up right in this grill back here. So it's not the best speakers, it does get kind of muffled, especially if your screen is kind of down. But it's not the worst. Now let's talk about camera and microphone quality. Let me just hop on to the camera app right in here. And this computer, this laptop, see the thing with me, I always call computers laptops and laptops computers. I gotta get used to that. Now, this compute, this, this laptop, this laptop, it features a 720p camera. So right now you guys are seeing me on this camera. It's not bad. It, it, it does the job, you know, for some light video conferencing, it's pretty good. The microphone, you guys are hearing me in this microphone, and let me know in the comment section below, because I personally have never heard how this microphone sounds. When I edit this video, it'll be the first time that I do actually hear how the microphone sounds. So let me know in the co comment section below what you think about this microphone, and um, let's skip to the video editing Alex and see what he thinks. Yeah, well, it's a good microphone. Crispy, clear, gets your voice across, gets your sound across, gets whatever audio you're sending across to the second platform, and it does the job. Obviously, it's not going to be like a crazy studio microphone, the Blue Yeti microphone that I have right there, or even perhaps a Baby Bottle SL microphone, those crazy microphones, you know. It's not going to sound like a studio microphone because it's a cheap $315 laptop microphone. But overall, it sounds good, it's crispy, it's clear. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about the microphone. And uh, yeah, let's head back to the video editing. So overall, ladies and gentlemen, it's a solid laptop if you're a student or if you're using it for your second hand portable laptop to go. It is called the Samsung Galaxy Book Go, and I got a Go soon get it ha huh? corny <laughs> <laughs> but anyways it is a very good laptop web browsing emailing like youtube videos even 4k youtube videos it works really good and i do really enjoy uh the portability that this laptop offers especially at how cheap of a price that you can get it and it's samsung it's lightweight it does have a nice plastic 
The design, obviously not the nicest plastic, but it's still really nice, very portable. You can hold it, you could prop it up on your head and see my head isn't crashing. So honestly, I do really recommend it for the people that are looking for a nice lightweight portable laptop to go with some good features and also very good for video conferencing. But would I recommend it for gaming, video editing, photo editing, for example, making music, very intense activities? No, it's not even Intel, it's not even an i5. You can't even compare this laptop to a i5 laptop. You can only compare it to a i3 laptop. So if you know processors and all that, you know that it's AMD, it's Windows 11, which is really nice, but Windows on a AMD, ah, it's not the best thing. It's a nice Snapdragon uh, Qualcomm chip, which is pretty nice, pretty powerful. Lots of the chips that other Android smartphones use. So overall, I give this laptop a solid 7.5 out of 10 for the people that are just going to use it for light work. So for the people that need a laptop or computer that's good for moderate or intense activity, we're going to get some here in the studio and test them out. But this was just a nice raw video to see how the Samsung Galaxy Book Go prefers. And I gotta go. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please make sure to follow my Instagram at TechRificitis. And who knows, once we reach 100 followers on there, maybe we're gonna go on live. Maybe we're gonna do a few giveaways, a few prizes. So make sure to tune in. And do all the other usual stuff. Subscribe with notifications on, comment, like, share. And yeah, that's pretty much it from TechRificitis. Thanks for tuning in. And see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to grab your merch.